We are at week four of our seeing distances challenge. Ah! <laughs> so exciting. Uh, okay, you guys, this is your week four homework. Obviously, it's already in the workbook. Like, you guys know what to do. Um, let me go ahead and pull it up quickly for you. It's going to be a course. Okay, it's going to be a course. You're also going to be doing your perfect warm up number six. So, for this week, when you're doing your course, the biggest thing that I want you to know so, again, you're going to have your warm up. Do your warm up, okay? Take your warm up seriously. Uh, listen to that audio lesson, okay? This is a really good one. I really love this one. Um, but when you're doing your course, a couple of things that I want you um, to do, okay? A couple of things that I want you to keep in mind. Walk your course, okay? I know I say that in the book, okay? But I need you to walk your course, okay? Walk your course, walk your course. Walk your course, okay? If you uh, don't walk your course, then you're missing out because that's like the whole point of this challenge is for you to basically prepare yourself for a competition environment, okay? And at a competition, you have to walk your course. The cool thing is here in this environment, like you get to practice uh, walking your course in an environment where you already know how many distances or what the stride is that you set up because you're the one that set it up, right? So if you made a five stride combination or four stride combination or two stride combination, right? Like you have that uh, luxury to be able to do that and adapt this course based on you and your arena. But what I want you to uh, realize that obviously when you're training at home, like you know what the distances are because you set them up. At a competition, right? You don't know what the distances are. The jumps are all set up. And it's your job to go and make a plan and figure out, like, do I want five strides from, you know, A to B or do I want six strides? Okay, so you have to make that plan. And it starts with walking your course at home. So practice at home just like it's a real show. Okay, just like it's a real show. I want you guys to treat this week four as if it's a show, as if it's a competition. Okay, I want you hopped up on adrenaline. Okay, I want you um, nervous. Okay, all the stuff, because again, how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay, so if you're messing up at home when you're hopped up on adrenaline and there's a course environment, chances are you're going to mess up at the show too. Okay, so I'm going to save you a lot of time and money <laughs> because you're going to find out how to fix all this stuff now at home and not spending thousands of dollars at the competition and then finding out, oh my gosh, I don't know how to walk a course. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to blah, blah, blah. Ride with adrenaline. Okay. So treat it like a show. Okay. What that means is I want you to look pretty, wear your like blazer, wear your vest. Okay. Wear your white breeches. Okay. If you have them or tan breeches or whatever. Okay. Put that beautiful saddle pad on your horse that you've been saving for show day. Okay. Your white saddle pad or whatever to like treat it like a show. Braid your horse's mane and tail if you want to. Okay. Uh, do whatever it is you got to do. Make sure you like actually wash them or, you know, shampoo bath right now. I mean, it's pretty cold, so I probably wouldn't shampoo bath Zephyr, but I might shampoo bath a little dirty white socks which aren't currently white at the moment, <laughs> okay? Treat it as if it's a show, okay? I want you to make it a special event. Write the date on your calendar like show day, seeing distances week four, okay? Treat it like a special event. Invite your friends and family to come and watch, okay? Tell your husband, tell your kids, tell everyone. Come and watch me. I'm giving myself a show day. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a show for myself and I want you guys clapping and cheering and like uh, like hooting and hollering for me and my horse. Okay, so I want you to treat it like a show. Okay, practice, practice, practice. Okay, Michael Jordan did not become the best basketball player in the world because he was born that way. Okay, he was willing to put in the work. He practiced his free throws more than probably any human being on the planet. Okay, and he actually, I think in his career, he missed like over 300 free throws, by the way. But his whole motto, and he's famous for quoting, don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Okay, so that's really what you, I want you guys to embody in this challenge and in the week four. So as I said, make your horse pretty, make you pretty. I don't know, wear some makeup if you want to, paint your nails, I don't know. Whatever it is you want to do. Okay, make yourself feel special, feel good, 
break out those competition clothes, okay, and make a day of it. Make it a fun experience for you and your horse. And the reason that I want you to go through all this trouble is, as I said, you're going to get nervous, okay? You're going to be on adrenaline. Your horse is going to be, I mean, it's the same arena. It's the same jumps you're training every day. But your horse is going to feel the energy that something's different. Like today means something. Something's happening today. So they might get a little bit of the adrenaline bug, okay? They might get a little bit like, ooh, what's happening today? Oh, there's something special happening. She never washes shampoo baths my socks, <laughs> right? Unless it's something special. Ooh, I never wear that saddle pad unless it's something special, okay? So treat it like it's something special because it is. And you are worth and you deserve to have a fun, special show day just for you. So with your riding exercise, you are going to walk your course, you're going to have your little warm-up, okay? Not everyone has multiple arenas. If you have two different arenas and you can warm up in one and then do your show, okay, in the other, do it, okay? Treat it as much of a competition as you possibly can. So have one jump if you can't, if you don't have two arenas, for example. Have maybe one or two jumps, uh, you know, a little vertical and an oxer, which are your designated, you know, warm-up jumps, which are maybe part of your course or maybe not, okay? It's totally up to you. Um, but have your designated, these are my warm-up jumps. Don't go and start jumping all the other jumps, okay? Because it's a show, okay? Your horse would not have jumped any of the jumps in the show until the show, okay? So don't start practicing over all of the jumps, right? Okay? That also means maybe put some fillers under the jumps. Maybe pull out the prettier poles, you know, maybe put something next to the jump, your little flower pots or plants or whatever it is, okay? Make it a nice, beautiful thing. Tell your family to take pictures, take videos of you. Okay, obviously I need a video, <laughs> okay? But this is what I want you to do. You're gonna warm up, okay? Doing that perfect warm up, uh, number six, audio lesson. Um, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna pop over a couple of jumps, Get it to the height that you need it to be. If you're doing it as poles, that's fine. You can do this whole thing as poles as well. So don't stress about that, okay? But still make a show out of it, okay? Even if it's poles, pretend like it's jumps, okay? Pretend like it's Grand Prix jumps that you've been dreaming about doing forever, okay? Whatever it is. Um, but make a day of it. Do your warm-up. Pop over your poles or your jumps. Get them to the height that you need to be for the rest of the, the course, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to video yourself doing your course. I don't want you redoing the course, okay? So if it's god awful, <laughs> okay? It is what it is what it is. I want you to treat it like a show. You get one chance, okay? One chance to ride your course, the most perfect course ever. And what I need from you is I need to know what distances you set up, okay? So if you set up for five strides, I need to know that so I can see, did you get five strides? Okay, were you able to get five strides? The other thing is, although it's a course, I would love it if you could still count out loud, okay, in the video. Just so, again, if you tell me you set up five and you're riding it and you're counting five, four, three, two, one, and you're one stride off, like, I'm going to see that, okay? That's the only exception. Um, that is my request is if you can still count out loud for me so I can hear you. And you have to tell me what the actual strides were, okay? If it's not a combination, if it's just a bunch of single fences, then maybe you count, you know, five, four, three, two, one, jump, okay? Or three, two, one, jump, whatever level you're at, okay? So again, if you can still count out loud, because at the end of the day, it is a seeing distances challenge, <laughs> okay? At the end of the day. So I would love it if you can still count. But other than that, as I said, you get one shot, okay? So make your warm up count, make your course walk count, and... Um, have the video be literally you just jumping your full course and whatever happens, happens. Okay. So that's it for me. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to announce, some of you guys are already wondering like, oh my God, we're at the end of the seeing distance challenge and went by so fast. Like what's next crystal. So I just wanted to say, <laughs> we have so many of these workbooks. We have 26 of them. Okay, we have 26 different workbooks. We've got Building Confidence, Mastering Verticals, Mastering Oxers, In and Out Combinations, Bending Lines, Conquering Courses, Jumping Bigger. These are just the ones that I have right here next to me. Okay, but we have 26 of these books. 
Okay, 26 of them. Um, they're working on different things. They have different warm ups, different cool downs. Some exercises, I'm, I'm not going to be shy about this. You might come across some of the same exercises more than once. Okay, but jumping it at a meter 20 versus, you know, jumping the course at 80 centimeters are two very different things. Okay, so just so you guys know, you can do these workbooks until the end of time. There's 26 different workbooks every single month for the next couple of years. You can actually mix and match and build your training plans. So what I want you guys to do is as you're finishing and completing your seeing distance challenge, I want you, because in the back of all of these different books, um, I want you to do, 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 let me find the page for you guys. We have a little list here of all of our workbooks. Okay. What I want you to do based on how your course goes, based on everything that you've been taking away from this uh, seeing distance challenge, I want you to then really think hard and use this little list at the back of the book about building your training plan going forward from here. Okay. It could be for the next just one month. You could just decide like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, work on jumping bigger next month. Okay. Um, or you could actually really sit down and think and plan like, okay, what do I want my next six months to look like? Okay. What do I want my next one year to look like? And you can kind of go from there. So it might be that you, after this exercise or sorry, after the seeing distances challenge, you might decide, you know what, my, uh, verticals and oxers were kind of sloppy. So I'm going to start with this one for the next month. Then I'm going to do mastering oxers. And then from there, I'm going to say, you know what, let's do a whole course of verticals and oxers now that I've got a course. And then I'm going to start making my courses more and more tricky. I'm going to say, you know what, I need help with bending lines and combinations. So I'm going to spend the next, you know, 60 days working on these two. Okay. So I just want you guys to know that it doesn't have to end here. Okay. The seeing distance challenge. I hope this has been a good boost for you guys. Um, but I want you guys to keep going. Okay. Keep the momentum going. Don't lose it. Okay. Now that you guys have been progressing so much, don't lose that momentum. Keep going. Now, for those of you who want to continue training with me and coaching with me, the seeing distance challenge has been a taste. Okay. A, like a little sample, a little taste of kind of what I'm doing behind the scenes with my clients who sign up for me in either my sticky butt boot camp or my three months, six months and one year virtual coaching. So this has been just a taste, but what I want you guys to know is if that's you, if you're like, oh my God, I love this. I need more of this. I want you crystal, like, you know, poking me every single week, watching my videos, prepping me for the competitions, you know, all this good stuff. Uh, you not having to kind of come up with like what training plans do I do next? Because that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building your training plans for you. Um, just so you know, my coaching clients, I have different training plans than these workbooks. So you guys might be like mind blown by these 26 workbooks, uh, cause they are pretty darn amazing. But just so you know, like my coaching clients, they have this, but times a hundred. Okay. Like this is a taste test. Uh, they have this times a hundred. Okay. So just so you know, there is an option for you. If you are that kind of more committed, serious rider that wants to really move up the levels and have me there to support you. I'm here. I'm not that hard to get a hold of. You can find me. You can reach out to me, private message me, comment down below, uh, find the link anywhere in this video. You're going to find a link somewhere for my personal private calendar. Okay. Book that one-on-one -on -one strategy call. It is a free call. Okay. It just costs you your time. Uh, it costs me my time too. So, you know, like, please use this link, like only if you're actually serious. <laughs> okay. Don't just call me just cause you want to like talk about horses and ask me, you know, about my life story. Cause I have lots of podcasts and magazines and press articles about my personal story. If you want to learn more about me. Um, but yeah, that link is there. Okay. Jump on the call. Uh, we're going to deep dive into the personal strategy that's going to work best for you and your horse. And from there, I mean, most likely I'm going to hook you up with either our sticky butt boot camp, which is inside of our three months, six months, one year coaching. Um, you might just do the sticky butt boot camp, or I might actually say like, Hey, you know what, based on your goals, we need more. Let's do, you know, one year together. Okay. So comment down below. If you don't see the link, I will send it to you private message me, comment, find the link, book a call. You don't need my permission, right? Just schedule that call. And I can't wait to get to know you and your horse a little bit more. And then the last thing that I'm going to finish up with is we are running a contest. Okay. We've been running a contest, a giveaway. Every single person can participate. 
really all I am asking, okay? All I'm asking is that you take your beautiful workbook and you get a picture. Get a picture uh, or maybe even a little video, like a little Instagram reel. Maybe it's uh, between the ears. So maybe you're on your horse and you have like the workbook and then your horse's ears and then the jump set up. Whatever it is you want to do, okay? Be as creative as you want to be. Um, it could be a selfie. It could be a picture with you and your horse. Like however it is, set up your jumps, put the book somewhere in your jumps in your arena, like whatever it is. I need pictures on our Amazon page. It's so hard to get people to post pictures and little video clips on Amazon and leave like a nice little review. And it's like my goal in life that every single horse rider knows about these workbooks because they're so dang amazing and it took me forever to come up with these. Okay, like these don't exist anywhere. Like these are the first and only workbooks on this planet that exist like this. Um, and I want every horse rider out there to use and abuse these workbooks as much as humanly possible. And horse people are naturally skeptics okay they're just naturally skeptical so i need pictures okay i need pictures of you your horses your jumps uh nice amazon reviews like real reviews guys please don't just say like buy this book please because that sounds kind of fake uh but yeah like nice reviews real reviews authentic reviews that's what i need okay and if you post those reviews put the screenshot down below in the comments um or email it to us or what have you and i'm gonna give you a prize just for participating Okay, I'm going to give every single person a prize. So it's literally a giveaway with ethical bribery because that's how I roll. Okay, I want everyone to win. I want everyone to get something. I want everyone to use these workbooks because they are life-changing. Uh, we've already gotten some really cool uh, people commenting and posting in the group about how much they've progressed and improved in just like three weeks, okay, in just a short amount of time. So that's why I'm here for you. That's why I'm doing this. So please, eth ethical bribery, uh, upload your pictures, your little videos in our Amazon, um, and then comment down below with a little screenshot or send us the pictures and videos um, in our Facebook group or in an email so that way we have those okay so we can share um and brag about how what kind of results you've been getting with your horses okay that's it enjoy your week four homework and i'm super excited to see your guys's riding videos bye